Hello and welcome to this Filters and Inquiries in AX tutorial. The video will last about 5 minutes and you'll be introduced to the filters used in AX and running inquiries. Each list page, such as the main accounts, contains a simple filter. This is the filter pane. Type a word or part of a text string in the filter box. Here we have entered project and choose the column on which to search using the drop down list. Now you can see all accounts that contain the word project in their name. You can remove the filter by clicking on the cross. In addition to this, there are four other filters available. Filter by selection is used to quickly return all records with data that matches a search term you have selected. In any list of records or transactions, select the data you wish and choose filter by selection. For example, here I have selected sales under main account category. Only records that match your selection will be displayed. We can see all sales category accounts. We can also access this filter by right clicking and selecting filter by selection or using the keyboard shortcut Alt and F3 or from the file edit filter menu. To remove any filter, click the remove filter sort or press Ctrl, Shift and F3. Filter by grid will switch on a filter bar that appears above the columns in your grid. You can search for records using any column. To find all account codes that contain the word bank, you click below account name and type the word bank. To tell AX that the description contains this word, you click the downward arrow and choose contains. Notice you can choose other parameters too. AX will insert an asterisk either side of my text. The asterisk is known as a wildcard, which allows you to enter part of a word or a string of words rather than the whole thing, which gives you a better chance of finding a match. You can also access this filter from the file Edit Filter menu or using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl G. There is no tool for filter by fields. Instead, right click any row in the column that you wish to search and select Filter by Field. Enter your search criteria. We have used sales. If you do not know the full name, use wildcards. Click OK. Our matching records are displayed. The keyboard shortcut filter by field is Control K. Advanced filter sort is a more powerful filter and allows you to specify multiple search criteria and sort the order of the returned results. Here, we're working in the all customers list. Select Advanced Filter Sort. You can choose a previously used query or select a saved query using the Select Query drop-down list. To amend the search criteria, make sure the Range tab is selected. You can use the suggested fields here, Customer Account Number or Customer Name and enter your search terms in the criteria fields. Or you can add your own fields to be searched. Click Add, a new row is added. Table will be set and you need to use the drop down list to choose the fields to search. Here we have selected the customer group. You can then type or select your search term from the criteria field. You can use multiple values, enter a comma to separate each included term. Here we have chosen 40 internet customers and 80 other customers. Other search parameters can be used in this field to enter perhaps a range of records or set conditions such as greater than or less than. You can sort and order the return columns into ascending and descending order using the sorting tab. Click OK to run your inquiry. To avoid having to enter search criteria each time, you can save an inquiry. In the advanced filter sort window, click modify, save as. Enter a meaningful name for your query and click OK. Each time you access an advanced filter sort, the last query used is displayed. Click Reset to remove previous query details. You can retrieve your saved query using the Select Query drop-down list. Inquiries are used to display specific records or transactions. Each inquiry opens in a separate window. Some inquiries run immediately, such as General Ledger, Inquiries, Audit Trail. This lists all transactions, who created them, the date and the time they were created. 
You can use filters here by using your keyboard shortcuts or from the file Edit Filter menu. Other inquiries require search criteria. For example, General Ledger inquiries virtual transactions. You can see that this query screen is like the screen used with advanced filter sort. Type or select your search term in the criteria column and click OK to run the report. We then have the familiar filters available through the file Edit Filter menu. In this session, we have explored the different filters available in AX 2012. That's all for filters and inquiries in AX. This concludes the main series of Introduction to AX videos.